Hello, uh, my dear patients. Uh, this is specifically to the Kidney Warriors uh, Foundation. The treatment of uh, chronic diseases, especially, uh, especially uh, chronic kidney disease, and those who progress to what is called terminal kidney failure, uh, the worldwide uh, approach now uh, is to make it patient-centered and we like to empower the patient and we are promoting patient advocacy. So in this context, it's a pleasure to speak to the patients uh, who are uh, uh, part and uh, uh, parcel of uh, the entire reason why the Kidney Warriors Foundation has been started. Uh, I am Dr. K.S. Nayak. I'm from Birinchi Hospital, Hyderabad, uh, which is a leading center for kidney care. And uh, uh, I'm the founding uh, uh, member and past president of the Peritoneal Dialysis Society of India and uh, one of the pioneers uh, uh, of uh, peritoneal dialysis worldwide. Uh, I'm the chairman of uh, uh, the Committee for Communication and Media of the International Society of Peritoneal Dialysis, which is basically uh, the committee that uh, spreads the awareness of peritoneal dialysis uh, among all the patients. And there are about 8,000 patients on peritoneal dialysis uh, in India. Actually, this treatment is, uh, I will come to the description of this treatment uh, in due course, but this treatment is ideally suited for patients, uh, uh, those who want to control their own lives rather than depending on a machine, like uh, as happens in uh, going to the hospital three times a week for hemodialysis. Uh, so this treatment, I will, I will describe to you uh, what it is. Uh, uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, uh, we started peritoneal dialysis in India in the uh, early 1980s. And uh, presently, uh, uh, we probably need to have more patients on peritoneal dialysis because uh, the patient can uh, decide when to do the treatment, though they have to do the treatment uh, every day. It is only a matter of uh, uh, 20 minutes each time and uh, life doesn't depend on their schedule of dialysis rather the they wrap the treatment around their lifestyle so especially for people who are working for children who are going to school or elderly people who want their freedom this is an excellent form of treatment uh, coming to uh, specifically other things like i'll speak about telemedicine also uh, which is very, very relevant now uh, because of the COVID pandemic. You can have your treatment uh, done from home and you need not travel by public transport or depend on anybody else for your treatment. So with this uh, brief uh, uh, introduction, I would like to talk to you about peritoneal dialysis specifically, uh, give you some insight uh, about uh, peritoneal dialysis. So what is uh, PD? As I said, uh, there are about 8,000 patients undergoing continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis as a treatment for end-stage kidney disease in India. I will tell you exactly, CAPD, I've written there, continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, which means it is going on unlike hemodialysis which is about three to four hours uh, each time you go to the hospital uh, three times a, a week here it is continuous but that doesn't mean you are doing it continuously it your body itself serves as the dialysis machine there are th there's a thin glistening uh, uh, silk like uh, membrane inside our abdomen and uh, that is totally enmeshed by small blood vessels called capillaries and these capillaries work like the the dialyzer if you go to the dialysis unit and when you are on dialysis uh, you see the dialyzer which is called the artificial kidney in some uh, uh, centers so instead of that the peritoneal membrane acts like the uh, does both what you call in medical terms diffusive and conductive exchange of uh, 
the all the toxic material that accumulates when your kidney is not working and this per treatment is performed by the patient or an attendant when an attendant performs it it's called assisted peritoneal dialysis and does not need basically the uh, the uh, uh, treatment itself does not need any sophisticated machinery which is actually a psychological advantage because a lot of people think that they are living because of the machine when they look at the hemodialysis machine they get a sense of frustration and anger that i'm alive because of this machine the treatment is extremely patient friendly and patient rehabilitation and quality of life is far superior to hemodialysis in fact this is a treatment which will uh, which i can summarize as uh, uh, the cost of treatment itself of uh, continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis we have done a study uh, uh, it is about 20% cheaper than hemodialysis because of so many factors such as uh, uh the consumables and other things travel to and pro then the loss of man hours of your attendant less usage of uh, uh less usage of uh, uh medicines like erythropoietin in peritoneal dialysis and most importantly you earn as you go which means you are working you are rehabilitated so well that you can do your treatment and work normally so you are earning are not gone and you are paying for your treatment earning itself earning the money and paying by yourself apart from the treatment itself inherently being cheaper so this is how uh, uh, it would look uh, this is a cut section of uh, uh, the peritoneal inside actually this is the peritoneal membrane a small catheter a very small catheter is put below the umbilicus of the patient it, the procedure can be done under local anesthesia you need to stay in the hospital for a day and a catheter is put in and there are two ways we as a center we are one of the few centers in the world who can start peritoneal dialysis the same day as we put in the catheter this is called emergent start or urgent start pd we are one of the pioneers in the world in this where you don't need to normally many centers they start up to 14 days so there are bags available and this bag is connected this is a fresh bag and this is a used bag the bag is connected to the catheter and this generally contains 2 liters of uh, fluid special fluid it goes inside stays there for about 6 to 8 hours or depending on your time schedule and once the cleaning happens it is drained out and a fresh bag is connected so first you connect then then uh, uh, first you connect and then the previous fluid that is there is drained out this is you can see it is almost looking like urine which means it has cleaned the, the entire body and then you then you fill this fresh fresh blue colored fluid it's not blue colored it's it's actually clear uh, fluid and it goes inside and then you disconnect this and throw that off and disconnect this and you have a small pouch here this small catheter fits into that and you wear your dress normally or your uh, whatever dress you are wearing if you are a male a pant and a shirt and actually the small entry point is just below the belt line and for women it is just below the sari line if they are wearing a sari or if they are wearing a salwar kameez it just comes underneath and nobody will know outside that you are uh, a patient having dialysis because you don't have a av fistula you don't need a av fistula though some may have it as a backup and uh, you absolutely there are so many patients there are so many patients uh, who are waiting in the outpatient in my unit and uh, in my op and they look as if they are normal people nobody and when they tell i am a patient on peritoneal dialysis patient gets surprised and the important thing is that in this treatment uh, you are not taking any medicine so your immune response is quite good even if you get covid the chance of getting covid there is a worldwide survey the uh, if out of 100 patients 10 patients or i would put it in a different way there are 1000 patients on on uh, treatment of hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis about about 100 that's 10% may get covid because they are traveling so frequently to the dialysis unit while if they are taking hemodialysis whereas less than one patient gets uh, covid which is actually 
sometimes even less than the general population. This is an excellent treatment during COVID also, and your quality of life is excellent. So as I said, two liters of fluid is put. The treatment of putting the fluid in and draining out the previous fluid is called an exchange. It takes about typically about 20 to 30 minutes to perform. And we Indians are lucky that we need to do it only three times a day. Uh, and as I said, the patient is free to perform normal duties during the intervening period. And when you join uh, our PDB, my PD unit is one of the busiest uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, and we get actually, uh, we are uh, uh, an international uh, training center for uh, peritoneal dialysis training. Uh, uh, doctors come from all over the world and nurses and come and get trained. And the person who is the go between the patient and, and the doctor is called the clinical coordinator in India. Outside the, uh, India, uh, the tradition has been to call them a PD nurse. So they are the people who train you takes about five days to train uh, a patient. If the patient is normal, they can do their treatment by themselves, or we train uh, backup also. So you can hire a person and that's called assisted peritoneal dialysis. You can see this is how it looks. Uh, you, can, uh, you can do various activities, listen to music while this 20 to 30 minutes of our watch television uh, and you're doing it at home. So this is a fresh uh, fluid, there's a clamp, a very simple device. Uh, this is the PD center at our hospital. Uh, we have what's called a counseling room, and this is the waiting area, and, and this is a, a training room. Here we have a computer with all the uh, training devices. This is called, uh, uh, as you know, a mannequin. You wear this and, and we train you uh, about one hour every day for five days you train and you get uh, adept either with, I will come to the other form of treatment, which is called uh, automated peritoneal dialysis. You must remember, I started off saying patient empowerment, that we empower the patient to do their own treatment so that they don't depend. They can travel. My patients go on holidays to United States of America. This is before the COVID. They, they used to go to uh, Hong Kong, Singapore, have holidays with their family while they are on peritoneal dialysis. Big problem with hemodialysis is is you have to first find out if there's a hemodialysis unit there, they have to accept, there's so much of paperwork. Here you just, uh, the fluid is uh, supplied to you wherever you're staying, either it's a hotel. And uh, to give you an example, uh, one exchange is done in the morning, one in the evening or afternoon, and one in the night before going to bed. The afternoon exchange used to be a problem for, uh, people used to think it's a problem because I'm at work. You can do it in your office if they give you a small space. I had one patient, I have rather a patient who would do it almost on the railway platform. He was a station master. So that is the uh, advantage of doing peritoneal dialysis. And there are machines available which can do this treatment in the night while you are sleeping. You can see here, I, as I told you, we can start the treatment the same day by what is called the urgent start, urgent start or emergent start PD. Here is a very sick, very, very sick patient who fully recovered subsequently. Uh, uh, and he's, uh, he was not put on hemodialysis. We put in a catheter into his tummy and then we connected him to the machine. And same day we started the treatment in the ICU. And then they can rent out the machine or they can buy the machine and do the treatment at home during the night time. When they sleep, there is a long tube you can see. They can even go to the toilet if necessary. And when they are sleeping, the, the treatment is done by the machine. Morning, they disconnect and, and, and go about their normal activities. This is called automated peritoneal dialysis. This is a small, almost like a microwave size uh, uh, machine. And it does all the job that is needed. There's a uh, warmer uh, heater here. This is the, the five liter bag instead of the two liter bag. Two bags are enough. And we, we put the prescription here. This is a, a, a touch sensor here. And, our patients are doing excellently well on treatment. There are about, I would say, about a thousand patients doing a treatment like this uh, uh, at home. It's called automated peritoneal dialysis or continuous cyclic peritoneal dialysis, which is done in the night uh, specifically. If you want, you can do it during the daytime if you are not working, if you are a retired person. It depends on your convenience. 
and we are world leaders and and uh, and we have published uh, a lot and uh, and uh, uh, as you can see this is uh, one of the articles in one of the international journals what is the best dialysis treatment for for south asia hd or pd and we strongly say that automated peritoneal dialysis or continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis which is manually without the machine is the best treatment i would give it uh, if if you give uh, the quality of life uh, that we get with this treatment if you give a scoring system i would give it for a normal person who has no kidney failure i would put it as 10 out of 10 for peritoneal dialysis i would put it as 9 out of 10 they can do they can go out to restaurants and eat normally not during the covid time but otherwise and same social distancing uh, uh, and masking is to continue actually pd patients are, are having such a low incidence of uh, of uh, covid because i think they have learned how to wear a mask properly and 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 they don't fiddle around with the mask they 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 normally know how to wash their hands so these are all important things to prevent a uh, uh, spread of uh, covid you can see i i don't think you can uh, find out who the patient this is the patient actually this is the patient's wife who helps the patient and this is a clinical coordinator it's a happy family like uh, situation we have where the clinical coordinator uh, uh, is the link between the doctor and the patient this is the pd center at our uh, hospital this is the place where we counsel uh, talk to them about all options and it's there in that we have what is called a, uh, a counseling kiosk where you counsel them you got the computer there with all the learning devices uh, and then this is the treatment area and there is a hand wash area it's a small uh, uh, about uh, 150 to 200 square feet area that's needed to do uh, and manage patients you can see these people came to train on pd in our uh, capd at our at our, at our hospital from cambodia we have had people from a lot from africa from uh, southeast asia from south asia from india from bangladesh we actually are responsible for the uh, programs being started in pakistan and uh, in uh, bangladesh and uh, to a certain extent in thailand also uh, they are all trained in our center uh, you can see this is a remarkable lady who is doing pd the lady who is poor has got only one room you can see this is her room her living area her wardrobe everything one room and one kitchen so she is doing pd her daughter is doing her manual pd for her so there are a lot of uh, things people think uh, do i need a separate room do i need this so we are there to assess the situation and tell you how to plan peritoneal dialysis it can be done anywhere as long as you follow the instructions uh, longest surviving patient in south asia is a patient more than 25 years on peritoneal dialysis can you make out this patient is on peritoneal capd the wife does it for him and and he also does it himself and there is no age limit you can you can from a small child to a patient who was 95 years old this patient started treatment for herself for her kidney failure on peritoneal dialysis our uh, uh, quality of treatment has been lauded by this uh, very prestigious uh, harvard business review and uh, they have said that we provide excellent uh, uh, world class outcomes on this treatment so uh, coming to uh, patient empowerment i specifically meant that uh, because uh, 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 the patient on peritoneal dialysis need not come to the hospital frequently they can remain in the hospital and remain in touch with us with the, what is called telemedicine and remote monitoring so we have for the first time in the world developed a software uh so all you need is a phone or uh, android or or a, a ipad and you are connected with us uh, uh, you are connected with us uh, through the internet and for your nutrition diet for your clinical data for your lab results and then uh, most importantly any problems with the cycler you can be in touch with the nephrologist nurse care the nutritionist and the social worker through this program a software platform called pd remote your lab results are monitored by us 
and uh, your all your exit side, the place where the catheter goes in, the health of that is managed. You can send us photographs and videos about whatever problem you have, and we will assess them. And using this uh, telemedicine app, we can monitor you. Uh, we are world leaders. In fact, uh, in 2014, you won't believe at the World Congress of Peritoneal Dialysis, we did a demo of uh, uh, a patient doing treatment in Hyderabad, uh, uh, doing treatment in Hyderabad, and he was put on the screen of the of the World Congress, and he interacted with the audience, and they were shell shocked that such a uh, 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 what do you call a uh, uh, software is available where the patient can be in direct touch and they need not come for the the supplies are delivered to them at the doorstep and they can keep in touch with the nurse or the doctor or the nutritionist using this software uh, even send uh, videos and uh, uh, images so it's an interactive device and uh, we have what is called the web module which is actually there in the pd unit and this is the uh, other other module which, which can be a phone or or a, or a tablet so you can have chats you can send all your information and it will be stored always uh, so that we can check back on your previous history this is how it looks on the phone or on the so there's a, there are guided uh, instructions for you we know who's the patient each one has got a separate secure file and these are the guided instructions for automated PD. And this is uh, how we send all the photographs here. You can see, you can chat with the doctor. I'm chatting with the, with the patient. You can send your photographs and your videos, and we can tell you whether there is any problem or not. And we can also see this is the patient who brought this bag out, and we can see uh, that the bag is clear and, uh, and the catheter is is, is we have a zoom device we can see that the, there is no problem with the with the catheter and uh, if there is a lot of people discourage patients on pd saying that you get infection it is not it is not true you can get infection and it is easily treatable and and infections actually are more serious on hemodialysis because they get blood infection if there are problems on hemodialysis whereas here you get peritonitis which can be treated and if you can see the spawns font this is a times roman font which we devised first time in the world you just put your bag after doing the exchange and you can you can you can see that it's clear that means you don't have to worry so using this we are we keep in touch with the patient even quality of life you can see very clearly here patient was doing well there are two components to quality of life called sf36 you have got what is called physical health and mental health you can see here the mental health of the patient patient the smile depressive episode suddenly we get alerted and we rectify the prescription or we talk uh, to the patient or we if necessary even ask the patient to come to the hospital but most of the time we manage through uh, the platform and change the prescription then you can see is back to normal again this is a fantastic device uh, you can uh, manage the patient's scheduling uh, give duties uh, to the clinical coordinator or what i call the pd nurse and you can do pd rounds if all is green, all your patients are doing well. A nurse normally can manage only 20 patients, but in our center, because of this, we can manage about 100 patients. One nurse can manage. If there is a, a red colored piece of this uh, circle, that means there is a patient with a problem till it becomes green and it hardly takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the doctor to finish the round. See here, there's some patient with a problem and that problem is addressed and it becomes green. So I just show you a short video, one minute video. That's the husband of the patient. He's connected and now he's taken his, so that's the icon of the PD remote. You're taking a photograph you can see this photograph of the exit side is very clean this is where the catheter goes in it's, it's taken the photograph and he sent it to the pd unit and it's taken a photograph of the bag this he does only when if it is necessary and it is goes into our pd center this is amazing nobody else has this in the world 
and this is what I showed you. You can see there's a problem. He, he ant is anticipating a problem. And you can see immediately that you go to that uh, images and you can see this is the patient. And here you can see exit site, what images he sent. And you can see the bag is also very clear. Patient doesn't have much swelling in the legs, no pedal edema. This photograph also he sent. So you can see the wonderful device. You can go very close to the, this is a video he sent. So this is the chat and this is all the stored information of the patient. This is the SF36 summary. So you have a, a chat device, as I said. So you finish the rounds. So uh, the ISPID International Society of Peritoneal Dialysis Guidelines specifically mentions our software saying that this is an ideal way of treating a patient on peritoneal dialysis. So you can be anywhere in the world. Actually, I'm giving an example here. This actually is a person called Tony Ward. He's on the top of Mount Everest, but using satellite uh, telephone, he can keep in touch with this PD unit, or you can be on a yacht. You can see this patient needs peritoneal dialysis and he's in touch with this PD unit. So this internet based uh, 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 software is a remarkable uh, software. Uh, compare this to uh, Santa Claus, uh, if he's uh, had developed uh, uh, end stage renal disease, I mean, terminal kidney failure, and he would be on hemodialysis even on 24th December, though ne uh, next day is Christmas, he has to be, uh, the nurse is making sure he has his hemodialysis. He cannot do anything but uh, go according to the schedule. So with this uh, uh, inputs, uh, I would come to an end uh, regarding my talk on peritoneal dialysis. So the life and the quality of, especially the quality of life and your rehabilitation and your ability to earn money need not change if you have end stage renal disease. You can go on peritoneal dialysis. You can either go on manual peritoneal dialysis, which is cheaper than hemodialysis, or you can go on automated peritoneal dialysis, which is very, very convenient and lead a normal life as I told you, your lifespan will not come down. You can also go on peritoneal dialysis and it can be a bridge while you wait for your cadaver transplantation if you don't have a family, family member to donate a kidney. So with this, I wish you all the best and don't get disheartened or panic. Uh, don't panic if you have end stage renal disease. There are a lot of treatments available now to enable you to be almost as I said, nine out of 10, almost normal and continue with your normal activities. Meanwhile, stay safe, take care, and I wish you all the best. Thank you.